Hey guys, Alan from Gamecraft Miniatures here. I want to uh, show you guys a new product that I'm just releasing tonight. Now I don't normally go through all the trouble of creating a video to announce new products, um, but this one here is kind of special. It's a uh, really, really cool product, I think. These are all the uh, parts for it laid out in front of me. And this here is the actual model. You may not recognize this at first, but when I tell you what it is, you're going to go, oh yeah, that's it. Most of you have probably seen the movie Saving Private Ryan. And you remember when they got into the town to uh, sit there and wait for the Germans to come and ambush them. They sent their uh, sniper up into the church bell tower. And that's what this is. This is the church bell tower from Saving Private Ryan in 28 millimeter scale or 156 scale. Now, um, this side here, actually, I have to confess, there are no pictures available of this side of the building on uh, in the movie. You know, I went through frame by frame and tried to find pictures of this side. So I just kind of had to invent this section here based on what I think most churches look like. And I do make a couple of 28 millimeter churches and cathedrals. You'll probably recognize these windows are the same style that I, I make in the... Uh, in those other kits but from this angle here everything you see here is pretty darn accurate to what you see in the movie of course there's no blueprints available there's no photos of the real building or anything like that so everything I've done is taken from uh, screen captures from the actual movie itself but I got a couple of hundred different screen captures all kinds of different angles different distances things like that and I think I've pretty faithfully reproduced this model based on what you see in the movie. There are even uh, some scenes in the movie where you see, looking at this angle, you see these, uh, these buttresses here. And I've recreated those as carefully as I can. Um, there's an incredible amount of detail on the uh, front of this building. I'll have to post up some pictures here so you can see uh, the detail that's in here. This model here, I'm really proud of this model because I'm taking MDF structures to I think a, a new level for me anyways there's a couple of companies out there that make some really really incredible MDF terrain with a lot of incredible detail um, most of the MDF buildings I've made up until now I've tried to keep them kind of simple inexpensive easy to build things like that um, and, I, and I think I've done that very successfully all the while I've known that I can take these buildings to another level if I want to um, and now I'm, I'm really starting to do that. I've done a couple of buildings in the past like the big government buildings and um, some other things like that that have quite a bit of detail on them but I think this one here takes it to a new level and I think when you see the the details around these doors and windows and things like that you'll agree that this is kind of a, a whole nother level. Um, the, the base that you see this sitting on is something that I made for my model um, it may or may not be an option for this kit. Um, the problem is the, the size of it, and there's, there's really no way to make it in more than one section. And the, the size of it makes, makes shipping a little difficult. It involves a, a different size box and things like that. So I may, or may not offer the, I may or may not offer the base. I have to decide on that. But the entire building is ready for sale now. I mean, you can see, you can see all of the parts are laid out here. Um, it's, there's a lot of detail to it. There's a fair number of parts, but I think I've designed it so that it's really, really simple to assemble and easy to understand how it goes together. Um, I'll show you this here. These are just black and white printouts of uh, some images that I've created. I'll, I'll post them up over here. All of these images have gone together into a single PDF file, which is the instruction sheet for this. And it can be downloaded right now off the website before you even buy the product if you want. Um, but what I've done here is I've done a couple of different views of the building and I've identified all of the parts with numbers or letters depending on what they are if they're if they're mat board parts like these really small detail parts they all have numbers if they're MDF parts they all have letters and those letters and numbers correspond to these two documents this one here is all of the mat board parts laid out with the numbers on them so you can easily identify what they are and this one here 
which again when it's in full color and it's you know filling up your screen it, it's very clear this is just a black and white print but uh, these are all the MDF parts and they're all all the parts are lettered so you can see so you can see what part goes where by matching them up with these photos so I think assembly is going to be really really simple um, this was my very first prototype that I put together as I was developing the kit and designing the parts as I as I went but everything you see on here is the is the final version with the very small exception of these two doorways here um, when I made this part I didn't I didn't cut out those doorways you can clearly see that they are cut out on the production parts here so those will be actual doorways because so after I got this whole thing assembled I realized there's no way for anybody to get into this tower so I needed to put a couple of doorways so those are there now the uh, the model itself the the dimensions are online and I didn't write them down but I if I remember right there's about 17 and a half inches this way uh, 13 and a half I believe this way and then about another 18 and a half tall so it's a nice big structure it can be sort of a centerpiece of your board um, again it's 28 millimeter 56 uh, 156 scale um, I am going to I can't make a promise as to when or how long it's going to take but I plan on doing all of the buildings in that village in Saving Private Ryan because I, I myself want to do a game board that has the bridge, the creek, uh, the road going through the town with the church and then all the other buildings and I actually want to play out the scenario using bolt action. So as time goes by I'm going to add buildings to this series but this is the first and the biggest and the most important one in the series so I want to get this out right now. So this is uh, kit number 28M MDF 600. The 600 series will be the Saving Private Ryan series. Um, it's available on the website now. If you're seeing this video, it's up there and it's ready for sale. Um, I've got to take some pictures of this building with a decent background and then get those on the site and I'll get it launched tonight before you guys see this video. But uh, I, think, uh, I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, some of the some of the details on this uh, the uh, small pieces of, of roofing that go on here this bit up here the uh, destroyed roof is uh, pretty cool like I said the uh, everything around the windows and the doors on this facade the the, the detail there is, is pretty incredible I think and I'll show you guys some pictures that show what that looks like um, the way I did all the corners and everything makes it look like they're the the way the the blocks uh, interlace with each other so there's no there's no need to do any kind of uh, filling or sanding there the way they come together it looks natural it looks like blocks that are you know built that way um, yeah it's it's a uh, I love it I think it's a really cool building I'm, I'm pretty proud of it and I hope you guys like it too um, it's available online now so that's it there it is the uh, church bell tower based on the building we saw in uh, Saving Private Ryan and it's available now on gcmini.com kit number 28M MDF 600. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.